this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. That's gonna be our six. It's gonna fit up in here like this. So it's gonna fit up in there like that. So we have our first one. Actually, I wanted that to be the eight, but I miscounted. But that's fine. Let's just be a little bit more careful. So we have our first one. Now for our next one. Two, four, six. So again, you're going to clip it tight, grab your other set, and you're just going to get it right there and break it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our second six. Now for our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our eight. And we're going to break it. That's our second eight. Okay. We have our head appearance for the Uno all done. As you can see, there are some extras here. Also, there was some extra resistors. Now the next thing is going to be these. And for these, they suggest that you break off the plastic coatings. This is going to be what the LEDs are going to fit into. Okay. So what you would do is if I'm remembering right get your wire cutters and just use the sharp edge to break that coating off be careful not to damage the pin though and then once you get enough of that off and this is the most tedious part of it. And I'm just going to cut it here. Notice I pointed it down because it's very easy for these to go flying across the room and you will not find them again. So you have to be careful how you go about doing this. Okay. I kind of held it there and I kind of pushed it up a little bit and it comes out so I'm going to break off this edge right here with the sharp edge again as you can see, you can easily lose them. So just be careful while you're doing this. 
So let's do this again. Cutting it off with the sharp edge, but don't pinch the metal part. Okay. And that's what they want to be done with these. So you kind of working with the wide cutters and eyeballing it and trying to make sure you don't pinch the metal part. Then manipulate a little bit, cut a little bit. There we go. pinch up okay now I'm gonna get the rest of these done off camera and I will be right back but really it's kind of simple as long as you make sure that you're not damaging the actual head of there so just Get on the edge, cut a little bit, okay, that one just falling out. So like I said, I will be right back once I get all of these done. Just be careful how you do it because they do tend to go flying across the room. So we'll be right back. So let's go ahead and start getting to some soldering. So we're going to take out our sockets. We're going to take out our resistors. And we're going to set them to the side. You may want to start heating up your solder now at this point. And we're going to have to do a little bit of thinking here. We're going to start putting in these little guys. Remember there, what we get when we cut the plastic housing off here. And this is the extra that I have, I believe. So we just send that to the side. Well, how you do this, and it's a little bit tricky. You want to put one in. Because we're working on getting the first one sided. Okay, you know, I kind of hold it by the tip like that. Just let it sit up. Okay, at this point you should have the soldering iron warmed up a little bit. Get out my solder. Okay. Solder now, tend the tip, of course. Clean it off. We're just gonna kind of like press down here. You want it so that it's nice and tight against the board. We want to heat up the lead. Solder it on. That's pretty good. Now let's do the next one. We're going to go opposite edge. Now that we have one in, should hold it up. Hold it in with your finger, remember. 
Just gotta get the right little. Okay. I'm gonna put one in here while it's tilted up. Just pressing the other edge. Let's see. Okay, so it's in. I'm going to use both my thumbs to put weight on the edge of the lead so I can turn it over and get it on the table top. Just like that. They're both in. So you kind of want to keep that weight on it so they don't fall out. This is going to make it a lot easier to solder it. Then after that, we'll be able to just add one and put it down and keep going. Okay. So, let's see. We want to put a little bit of weight on there so it'll stay down. Because remember, the other edge don't have none to it, so it's going to make it tip. I'm just using some pliers right there, and that should be good. Now I should be able to solder these two pretty easily as long as I'm careful not to actually Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so we got three in. Now number four should be a lot easier because it shouldn't tilt or anything. So putting that little pressure on the edge of the lead. Okay, see, now it's a lot easier. Solder now, you just want to heat up your lead. Add your solder. There you go. Hi, I'm Ebony Geek, and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.